Hello everyone and welcome back to Codestar Technologies, the best tech YouTube channel here in Kenya and Africa at large. Uh, kama kawaida, if you are new on this channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, like our videos and also share to as many people as you can. Uh, you can go through our videos, you will find that we have done a lot. Uh, circle system, uh, MPSA integration, SMS APIs, geocoding APIs, USSD application, and a lot more. Uh, even data science and machine learning. So you are going to learn a lot from this channel. Now, in our today's session, I'm going to talk about OTP. I know you have clicked this video because you want to know much about what OTP is. OTP it, uh, stands for one-time password. And uh, in this case, let me jump right away and click here. So one-time password. Sometimes when you want to log in into a certain site, like for example, it might be Code Star Technology, I have to verify whether you are the owner of that account. So in this case, this account normally uses emails to verify the users. So I don't want to have like dummy um, data on my database. I want to have data from the real users who want to be my client. So in that case, when you enter an, a, a something like a, an email that does not exist, it is going to kick you out. Like, for example, uh, in this case, I can change from using the email address, I can use the phone number because I know the phone number, it is supposed to be active. So I will send an SMS to you. Then you will enter the whatever the number that I've sent to you via SMS to you. Then you enter so that you can verify and I will get to know that you are the correct user or the correct owner of that account. So in that case, uh, that is what I'm going to show you. Uh, OTP, one time password. So in our case here, we will enter our phone number here. Like for example, let me just do it uh, so that because I can, I've seen the SMS is delaying for some times. So I can enter the phone number. I'm not going to use 0700711233 because I know you are used to that number. Let me use a different number like uh, which I have here, which is uh, 0763. And then we have got 6116233, uh, something like that. I will send the SMS here. Um, so I click send. So you can see OTP sent to your phone number. So uh, I'm waiting for the SMS to come to my phone number. So I know it is going to take time. It might take time, but I will get the SMS. Then I will show you. So um, once I get the SMS, I will enter the SMS here. That is the SMS has arrived. So I will enter a wrong SMS like something like that then i click outside and as you can see it has told me wrong otp value so let me just show you the correct otp uh, let me open the sms like that sorry uh, that, yes like that so this is sms which is 8721 i think something like that i think you can see that one um it has sent now. Actually, it is the last one. It's supposed to be now. So it is telling you it's um, uh, 8721. So if I enter 8721 like that and I click outside, it's not going to respond otherwise because that is the correct OTP. Or else, if I enter a different OTP like that and I click outside, you can see it is denied that, that OTP. So if I enter the correct OTP like that, it's going to accept because that is the correct OTP. So how do you implement this? So now I can send to verify this button. I can change it to verify the user and automatically it has verified me as the owner of this uh, phone number. So how do you implement this one? I know I've shown you the correct, how you have, uh, what I'm going to talk about today, but now you are worried. Now you have shown us, um, how do you implement this? So to implement this, you need to look for a company that offers SMS API. And for that matter, I normally use uh, Mobitech. So you just go right away to their website. It's uh, mobitechtechnologies.co.ke, uh, .com, sorry. Then you register. Once you have an account, they will verify your account. And once they verify your account, automatically you will now log in and buy SMS. You purchase the SMS. Once you purchase the SMS, once you purchase the SMS, the next thing is um, now to consume the SMS. And if you want to implement the SMS on your system, you have to go to the developer's portal, go through the documentation of the developer, uh, get to understand how the API works, 
and now you implement the, the, the code as you can see there is this the what happens now and you can see the code is given in different programming languages that you can consume using like for example a code sample if you want uh, maybe with python to consume with python php if you want to consume it with um, uh, java and so forth they are available there. so it's a matter of just getting to know how it works uh, apart from mobitech there are other uh, companies which offer sms which is like for example african stocking uh i've ever used this one before but i've never used for sms i used it for ussd there is a video and the channel you'll get a ussd video that i've done about um uh, ussd system creating ussd system actually it was like an insurance system that uses uses SS, ussd to verify whether um, your insurance is valid so in that matter you can check so um this is another company that you can use but also there are other companies which you can come across and try to uh, check the developers portal to see whether the api is easy to use and so forth so in my case i'm using mobitech and uh, the good thing about mobitech it's their prices is um the price is very minimal it's around the last time che i checked it's around two, 0.35 cents so which is less than even 50 cent and you can imagine if you're sending bulky sms this is one of the best things that you can come across and that, these are nice costs if you maybe for example to verify the user of a, of a specific account this is the best way you can use you can imagine just a cost of uh, zero point something cents it's far much better than just having a data which it doesn't have any meaning because at the end of the day you'll get data on your database which uh, maybe someone has just filled dummy data like email like phone numbers which does not exist and it's going to be very hard for you so to have a consistent database which has got very 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 verifiable sorry um customers you can just jump right away and consume this otp so once you have them you have decided which company you are going to use uh, the, that is the sms provider that you're going to use the next thing is now jump right away and implement the code so in my case i have zamp like this and once i have zamp you can see if i open ht docs i can get there is a, a folder called otp and inside the otp there is a file named index and then there is otp so if i open this one you are going to get them here so this is the index you can see there is otp there is code star these are headings then i have a form and what i'm doing here because i want to explain a little bit about the logic uh, sometimes developers are more interested with the logic uh, other than just copy pasting the things because the moment you understand the logic behind how this code works and it will be going to be very easy for you to just implement the code so uh, the form it has got an option where you will enter the phone number this is where you enter the phone number as you can see then we have got um, another one uh, this is otp which is an hidden field this one is not visible to the user and then we have got uh, an input otp and there is another one which is um, something we call um, and user input so the reason why i need this field is that here you'll enter the number so this one will be visible the first phase then when I, when i check i send the otp this one will be hidden and then i get an option to input the otp that i've uh, the, the, the otp that I, have, that I have received so to generate the otp when you click this one I know you you're looking for post where is it going to post in this case i'm going to use ajax and to use ajax first of all you need to have this url because ajax it helps us to send data at the background things that they can happen at the background so in that case uh kama kawaida when you have uh, java because we have javascript we can listen when the button is clicked so i just listen to this button as you can see this is the button then you use event listener which is a function found in um, javascript so you listen when the button is clicked once you listen when the button is clicked you have to check and get the value which is written on the phone numbers uh, this one the phone number that you've written you get the phone number then the otp i just generate a random number uh, in any programming language there are different ways you can generate a, a random number and in this case my random number is a number which is between 1000 and 9999 
so something like that so because i need like four digit numbers and once i have the number now i can get to the next one which is um um i put this number the otp which i have generated i want to store it locally here on an hidden field which is this one it's just for the same same use here because of the system it needs to know like the already existing uh, number so once i have that now um but in this case i can choose even also to push this one as a global variable instead of making it local here within the function of event listener so i can generate the number here it could have been an uh, a better way other than just storing it here on the otp so that is an option you can change in your case i'm going to share the code so once i put that number there the otp the next thing is to send the otp to the phone number so that i can verify because the user doesn't know whether the phone number is stored on the system uh, the otp is stored on the system so uh, i pass the phone number plus the otp to the otp.php which is the um, php file which now handles the sending of sms so when i pass that one this one will be waiting for the response so before we give the response let's jump right away here and here we have got the function i have got the function which i normally get from the developers portal of um the, uh, of nini of uh, this one this company mobitech so if i click here get this php code this one is what you get and you put it here as the function so this function will like is called sms and it will accept two things phone number and the message so let me jump right away where the program starts because that is just a function which you have de declared the function what you just need is to call the function so uh, i check if i have passed the phone number and the otp so if i have passed that one then i will execute this one otherwise i will say the phone number and whatever it's not invalid it's invalid so i get the phone number the phone number i'll have to convert it into something we call um to add this uh, 254 because the sms to send an sms the phone, some phone number ha needs to have a, a country code there so in that case i have to add uh, 25 254 which is the country code so after that i also con uh, concatenate to create the message where it is written your secret one time password is this otp i get then i call my function here when i call my function i'll pass the phone number which i have entered on the text box then the message which i have created here so once i pass the phone number uh, the api uh, the, the uh, api function needs to have an api key which is like this and the phone number is like this one maybe i think you are asking me how am i sharing this one this is just a dummy data I've written there <laughs> that's why you can see i've changed here i've not saved anything <laughs> so you just enter that then this message is going to be sent and this is the api endpoint which is going to receive that message and the processing of sending the msms is done by the mobitech technologies so once the sms is sent you get the response and in most cases in apis responses are given in form of json data so i will get a json data which either tells the status of the message whether it has been sent or it's in the queue or it's in blah 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 a lot of stuff it will give you even the credit balance and so forth so that message i will receive it at this point when i receive the message i want to remove the unwanted brackets here then once i remove the unwanted brackets i convert the message into a php array and to do that we normally use this function called json underscore decode it normally converts that json data into a php array and from the php array i can extract a specific value which is the status of the message that is what i'm interested with so status of the message it will tell me like um, it is 1000 when it is 1000 i know this one it means the message has been sent so it is correctly otherwise if it is something else i don't i'm not interested with that it's going to be like uh, failed to send the sms because my interest is to send the sms so this is what is going to be sent as the response to the index.php on this line so once i get the response i echo the response in an alert option then after that i'm going to hide the part where i entered the phone number this one this i'm going to hide this diff as you can see this one then i will unhide this div which is going to output the phone number now so that i can input the code otp number so i will empty the user input 
then I will put input OTP to display it. Once I do that, it will means I will enter the OTP number here. And once I enter the OTP number, this one will listen. When I make changes on this value, on this text box, then it's going to use verify, which is going to get the OTP value and then compare the OTP value with the correct OTP value. Then after that, it's going to give an alert and um, tell me whether it's a wrong OTP or a correct OTP. So in this case, if it's a wrong OTP, it is going to empty again the text box. I write a different number. But if it's correct, nothing is going to happen. So that's how it works. That's how the whole logic works. And you can use this code to implement it uh, where you want. And uh, I'm going to share it on the description, Kama Kawaida. Uh, but in case, maybe if you have a challenge, feel free. What's up me? Hapo tuonge, but you are too obvious. Any consultation, my friend. Natumianka internet, wengine hata wanga muna flash. But I hope if you have interest, you'll make a call. At least, uniambie, I want to do ABCD. Even though kuna jama mgini nifanyia juzi integration, alafu wa kapotea na pesa yangu. But it's good. Uh, so guys, just have good manners. Because it's not good thing like mtu wakufanyia job. This whole thing, inakuchukua like a day. Uh, to figure out how you're going to play with, out with the logics. It's not about just learning about technology. It's about knowing how to implement or kind of utilize some of the features that we learn. It might be a loop. It might be a function. It might be... But sometimes how you go beyond and implement it on a code, that's what matters. So, msione watu anakaanga. For those guys, when you want to industry, it's not a good thing. Um, it's very hard. It takes time. Upata at least to mengia pale online umepata client na huyo client hata mtumesikizana deal ambayo ina cost like uh, hundreds of thousands of Kenyan shillings alafu anakuwekea kwanza ka deposit ka 50k it takes that trust so i can't get to understand like wale ma developers mko out there uh, mtu unasaidiwa uh, ama wewe kwanza ukifanya kazi unapata mimi nimekusaidia ku implement this kind of code and right away unaenda unapotea na pesa yangu and you expect your client is going to pay you. Now you know how hard it has been to grow this industry. What we can trust. Hmm? Uh, th that is not good. So see it in our detail. Like any, we are not We are building this industry. Remember, we are in Kenya, and Kenya is going to take African continent to the next level. And we cannot take it to the next level uh, to keep an easy kind of habit. So I know you have enjoyed. You have loved the video. Make sure you may subscribe, make sure you may like our videos, share na mabeste zako, at least to promote this channel. In my next video, I'm going to show you there is a small, small project here about SMS still. Uh, let me just pop up. Okay, do go do at least one. Uh, sometimes e merit list, you can create it using um, Excel. So I use formulas here and there. Then you generate a message, and this message is what we want to send to the parents. So imagine like ukitumia mzazi, but la ukushinda uki print easy paper. You know, printing just a paper paper like this one. It will cost you like um if it is black and white, kwa cyber, but a kufanya na either 15, 20 bob, something like that. Color dita kwa ni 30 bob, something like that. So it is very, very expensive. Like ukiambia mzazi yato yo pesa, it's going to be very hard. So um Assuming like one or fifty bob to get take care of for resort slips and so forth, printing, uh, you need a printer, you need a, a cartridges or that ink, whatever, uh, power, you know, itaji kuwa, yeah, things like that one. So while we can do a simple system which can send the SMS to the parents direct to their phone and they will get to know how their students performed without the students changing anything. So that is it for today. See you in the next one. And I know you are going to love it. It's going to be amazing. It's because we are supposed to upload this one to the system. So thank you guys. And see you on the next one.